Hello everyone, this is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and I'm pleased to present to you a industrial design model that I've created of sunglasses. We start off with three planes, as you can see, and uh, we create a sketch on one of the planes and it looks like a little line segment. Then we create another sketch that looks like an eyepiece. Uh, I've used a number of arcs and fillets and trimming and lines, etc., etc. Of course, I'm only doing one side of it because that is most important. And then I'm doing a point entity. The point entity is right in the center of that eyepiece where I want the uh, where I want the um, uh, lens to max out or to bend. And so then I made a sketch through that point, just like that, as you can see. And I made another sketch through the point orthogonally. There it goes, so two curves. And then I made a sweep through those two curves. You could just, just sweep. Uh, you could select one as a section, one as the drive curve. And it doesn't matter that the section is not at the end. Um, it makes a very nice surface. Great. So then I did a extrude of that main sketch <clears throat> and I did an offset surface of the lens shape. Offset surface, there it goes. As you can see, there's a little bit of thickness. And then I did a command called replace face. I imposed that offset surface on the extrude just like that. And I did another one and another replace face. And then I had a nice thin um, eyeglass shape. Let's just hide those surfaces there. So that was um, kind of easy and um, very problem free. Uh, then I wanted to trim the uh, main surface that uh, the main surface that everything's coming from. So I took the um, inside curves of the lens shape and I just extruded them up and down and I did a trim and that just hid the, there we go. That just made um, the lens surface perfectly inside of the frame, the right side of the frame. I did a bunch of fillets like so, just nice and smooth in there now. And then I did a nose bridge cutter. I wanted to chop this off for reasons that will become obvious in just a moment. Um, I mirrored the thing over like that. And I did a bridge curve. There you go. So I made a set of curves that bridges this and I swept them. So I got this little piece and then I mirrored that little piece and then I united it all together, Boolean united. I did a bunch of filleting. So it's all nice and smooth now. Good. And then um, I mirrored the lens. So now the mirrored, the lenses are mirrored. Of course, if you use the P command, P, it hides all the planes. That's nice. It's a nice thing uh, because they get, you know, a little too intense with all that geometry there. All right, so then, let's see, nose pad extrude. Oh yes, I, I needed the, the uh, nose pads, so I did an extrusion, like so. And then I did a bunch of operations to it, and I drafted it, and I filleted it, filleted it, fillet, fillet, <laughs> filleted it like that. And uh, so then I had that, and then I started working on the temple. And the temple started with a sketch, like so. <clears throat> and I smoothed it out, I extruded it, I filleted it out, filleted it. That's a good word to say. And then I made a curve for the, I call it the temple pillow, or the little end of the temple. So it was one sketch in that direction, and another sketch in the other direction and oh I'm sorry I'm messing up here so okay so let's do this 
Let's do this. I think I screwed it up. Hold on. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I thought I was changing the bottom bar. Ooh, something went terribly wrong. Okay, here we go. So let's go down to here. There. So uh, what I've done here is, let's roll it back. I made a sketch like that. And I made a sketch in the orthogonal direction, looking down. And I extruded a thin and gave it some, some thickness. And then I extruded in the opposite way. And then I did an intersect to get that. And then I blended it. And then I booleaned it. I united it. Boolean unite. Fun, fun, fun. And then, finally, I mirrored that over. And there you have it. So with this software, you really do have an ability to do some good industrial design. If you know what you're doing, you could make a lot happen. And so I thank you for listening. It's uh, so much fun to do these for you. There's um, going to be plenty more. And again, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. Appreciate you liking, subscribing, sharing. Uh, tell about a thousand of your closest friends. Take care.